Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to zoom in to a clip or zoom out of a clip in Adobe Premiere Pro. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better. And as I said before, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to zoom in and out of a clip in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, the basic way to do this is to manipulate the motion of the actual clip in question. Now, you can use keyframes to do this. Let's actually do it with this little piece of footage here. Let's actually, uh, should we mute this? I'm unsure if we're actually recording the background track, but no matter. So, in this scene or in this clip let's turn off the adjustment layer so it's not moving so erratic but in this clip it's basically at the same zoom it doesn't move around at any point in time if i want to zoom in though the best way to do so will be to come over here to the effects panel if you do not have the effects panel up over here then go to the window and go to effects and that will bring it up or press shift and seven I am working on a Mac though, so the shortcuts on Windows would be different. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to scale and you can use this. I actually have never used this before. I usually just go um, and hold down my mouse on this, which is actually very, very annoying. So I'm gonna use this. <laughs> and this will allow you to zoom basically because you're scaling it up so it, it gives you that zoom effect. If you scale it down, obviously it looks weird. So we are currently at about 100. If we wanted to zoom into my face right about now, I'd zoom like this and then I would adjust the position like so. And if you want a quick cut to a zoom, then what I would do here is split this clip like that and then I would bring this clip back to its default. So we'll bring this scale to 100 and we'll bring this position to 540. So now if we play it forward, it should quickly zoom in like that. It'll we'll jump zoom. If you want a gradual zoom, then let's quickly, yeah, undo that. If you want a gradual zoom, then what I would suggest is to use keyframes. So let's bring this back to 540, bring this back to 100, and we'll start at we'll start at the beginning. We'll add a keyframe for the position and scale that it's currently at. Then we'll add a keyframe when we want the scale and position to start changing and start zooming in. Actually, wait, that was the wrong thing. You don't want to tap that again. You want to come over here. Here's where you add keyframes. And then at the end, where we want it to be at its most zoomed in, we'll actually zoom in and edit where we actually are in the position. So that adds another keyframe. We don't actually have to hit those buttons again. But as you can see, this is the keyframe where it's zoomed in. These are the keyframes where it's at its normal position and scale. So let's play that through real quick. <clears throat> This is normal position and scale. Let's not play that through because that's gonna take a little time. And I don't wanna waste your time. And then it should start zooming in right about now. Look, it's a slow zoom in. If there was some sad music right about now, that would really, really fit. So <laughs> if you wanna do that, that is how you get that effect. And if you wanna zoom out, then you just need to do the complete opposite. So if we wanted to zoom out right about now, then I would add more keyframes. Well, actually, we don't even have to do that. Let's just go to the end of the clip and we'll zoom out there. So here we go. Let's get that back to 100 and get that back to 540. And now I'll add another keyframe. And as you can see, it will start zooming out. It's gonna be a pretty quick zoom out there. Ah, it's actually not too bad. It was quite a smooth zoom. That was quite, quite a nice zoom out. So that's how you zoom in and zoom out of a clip in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope this video really helps you guys out. If you want to upgrade your editing and help out the channel, then go to growonyoutube.com forward slash Red Giant now. Red Giant make a bunch of plugins that make complicated editing techniques easier. 
the titles and transitions that you've just seen were created using Red Giant Universe. Red Giant plugins like Universe and the Magic Bullet Color Suite help me save time and allow me to create professional looking content for you guys. The best thing is that you can try their plugins out for free. So go to growonyoutube.com forward slash Red Giant to try those plugins out for free now. If you decide that you like their plugins after trying them out for a bit, you can use the code JCARTARAY for 10% off your purchase. Get your free trial of any of these awesome plugins now and make your editing life easier at growonyoutube.com forward slash red giant. Before you guys go, I just want to let you know that you can download your free end screen graphic by clicking on the link in the description. This end screen graphic is easy to add to the end of your videos and will allow you to have a professional looking end screen. So be sure to download that in the description below. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this warmth I share with you